Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers with the Legends and PTR mod with the Peasant Militia background. Just as a bit of a preamble uh, for this episode, you could probably tell from the sound of my voice, I'm actually quite ill. Um, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any content, so I'm still going to try and record a bit of stuff today. I think this episode is going to be much shorter than usual, because I am struggling to stay upright and find time when I actually have a voice at the moment. So I think I'm, I'm having to like find the times to actually be able to record. Um, I don't think there'll be any camp events for this episode, because like I say, I just don't have the right brain power at the moment. But at the very least, I thought we could do like a closed, a little like closed idea episode where we sort of specialize in upgrading Newark. So Newark is our hometown. Its wealth is currently, what, 86%? And we can look at doing some contracts in Newark to help them out. And there's also a few people in Newark we could probably utilize as the characters on the list. So I think we'll still see some new characters. It's just that we won't be covering any backstories today. And like I say, it's never been like an hour long. It's probably gonna be like 30, 40 minutes. So I apologize for that, but I wanna at least give you guys some content for this series instead of making you wait until I get 100% better. Although if I keep doing this, I'll probably never get better. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the first contract. It is just going to get a ceremonial staff from the East. So we'll quickly go and grab that. This will also help with this, because what, 858? This is 1,050, so there's only like, what, 192? So we might get pretty close to that at the end of the episode as well. And if we can upgrade Newick from its little small hamlet to like a medium-sized hamlet, or like a small, like, trading town, then that'd be really good. Before I forget as well, someone has taken on the mantle of our Valor. Yes, it is Valor. So this is Lady Miasmic Mercalis going forward. And she does have the perk of the Warden, so I guess we're about to see how that works with 17 Thieves. Okay, so you're telling me I've got a fight in a swamp. Ah, there's the Warden. Okay. Interesting. Because I'm going to see how that works. Do I control it, or does it control itself? God, having to edit out all the coughing is going to be a right nightmare. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. God, I've already had to edit out twice. Oh, boy. What a week. Uh, right, so do you, like, control, or do you just, like, sweep? Okay. Bonk? No bonk. I mean, it's fair. I won't want to hit a dog either, to be fair. I never do. 54, 46. Well, Elias is still going to clean up at the end of the day. Uh, Boris, come over here, please. Hopefully Rex is not as bad as... Whoa, bro. What was that? That's actually quite a high chance. Uh-oh. Ah, swamps. My bane. Oh, boy. That was terrible. Sorry to say. We do outnumber them on the plus side, but we did start in the worst place possible, so. But they're just as, you know, not terrible as us, but they're just as bad as us in terms of the uh, ability to fight, so there is that. I think the Scrotums have got a better chance of living. Although, saying that, Morin got seriously shot then. That was a hell of a shot. I mean, I think it was like 50-50, to be fair, though. We do seem to be coming up that way as well. Let's just let them come towards, waste their fatigue going through our swamp. Hilma's not going to be able to get a chance. Okay, well that's Hursty's first kill. Shame it's a dog, but hey, he got his revenge. Ah, the warning is moving by himself, it's not me. Interesting, let's we'll see how that goes. I ain't got a clue. I also need to get you a mace, Billy. I just remembered, I need to get you a mace. I'll do that when we get back to the town. Hopefully there is one just sitting there. Also see how this affects the wealth, because it was at like, what, 86%? So we'll see if this makes it go up. I also need to do some like training stuff here and there as well, just to increase the wealth. And it needs to stay up for a while above 100% for it to upgrade. From what I gather, and it'll only upgrade to the next version of a town once it's got a certain amount of upgraded buildings. So we'll see how it, see what, see what changes. Well, not a lot of movement. I see. That is exactly the person I wanted you to attack, so I'll take that. Don't. Don't, buddy. Oh, wow. Oof. Could have shot the dog. Could have shot your own dog. No? Okay. Oh, man, they're all going for Hursty. Okay. So, it's basically a geist. That's cool. Are any of them kind of dead? Eh, not really closer. They were some wicked headshots. Man, I know the swamps suck, but come on now. We need to get a bit of momentum going. 
Rough start today. Rough start. Less, well, more of a rough start for him, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Right, what can you shoot for me? It's summer. And then stop. See you later. You get in there. You want to smack? Nice try. Hey, he's on a rampage now. That's all it took. Just needs to get revved up a bit. He's going to bleed out at least. Moron, just keep your shield up. You have been accosted, you could say. You're running perfect. Can you get there and stab? Not quite. Can you get there and stab? Not quite. I would like that Gamberson. If you would uh, bequeath it to me, that would be great. No? I'll kill you, friends. That's not stopping you, it seems. Okay. Oh, that's a bad miss. I'm really worried about Corvo. I'm sorry, Hursty. That also sucked. Better. Was it in Miasmic? Well, Miasmic almost pulled you out of the fire. Not quite, though. There we go. That's a bit better. Hey, not bad, Calf, then. Stunned. Perfect. Slappy's gonna whiff a bit, but it's okay. Well, I don't think we're gonna be seeing Rabble much anymore. I think that's kind of it now. I think we're just, we've just graduated to poachers and thugs. Oh, big hairy beast. Come on, buddy. Don't let me down now. Great dodging, Boris. Good job. Once again, great job. Bro, Corvo, come on now. Okay, he's safe. Bloody hell. Well... Swamps, what can I tell thee? Ouch. Keep it going. I ran off right, fine back. Okay, fine back. Fair. I can respect that, at least. Somewhat. Oh my good lord. What was that? Uses whale and hits. Oh. Spicy. I like it. All right. Now, do the Warden's kills count as your kills? That's the, uh, I don't quite know. First damage from the flag, I think. Good stuff. And they can start running. All right. Kill what you can, then. Give nothing back. Five? Oh, there was a hidden one right there. I didn't even see him. I mean, he was hidden, so obviously I didn't see him. Let's see. I'm not really getting much further with this now, I don't think. Nah. Not quite. Don't worry about it. Wayne? Too tired. I get it. Man. More, even more hidden than I thought. The swarm's gonna stop us anyway, so don't worry about it. Or will it? Yeah, it will. It will. God, Corvo got pretty close to dying. I did not subscribe to that. No, no, we can at least kill one of them. Maybe two of them? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Slappy's got him on lockdown. Okay. I'm into it. Now, can everyone else key catch up? Yes, they can. Great stuff. Now, does the warden follow her, I wonder? This whole thing is a big learning experience. I've never actually got a Valor before. It's pretty cool. Also, so early in the game, apparently. Ah, it does move with her. Like her warden, you could say. Kind of gives the game away, doesn't it? Alright, nice little slappy. Man, I feel sorry for that brigand. Birdie's got it coming, so don't worry about it. Somebody seal the deal, please. Last one. I'm probably not going to get much out of him. Especially with hits like that, slappy. Come on, now. Good job, Kaften. Alright. Getting to that two-handed hammer one day. Salinas leveled up. Boris leveled up. 
Kaftan leveled up. Good job. Morin's a little bit injured. And was that it? Oh, Corvo's a little bit injured. Well, I got some armor here and there. Not really any Gambersons, but I can live with that, I guess. Got a better hat. Uh, I could just give out with knives. Okay, fine. Could be better, could be worse. Although, that was not our best start. Let's get back to Nurik. Let's see if this changes the wealth, because we are getting rid of one of the negative modifiers on the settlement. So, hang on. Right, that's done. 90%. So, yeah, it went up by 4%. I wonder if uh, when supply caravans come through, it also changes it. So, I don't need that. 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 I'll keep those. I'll give those out. Don't need that. Back over 1,200. Not bad. I'll get a little bit of food. Uh, how are tools here? Oh, man. Basically, all the stuff I just bought. All the money that I just brought back. All right, Linus, welcome to that. Not bad, not bad. Let's give you Cleaver Mastery. In memoriam of Vittenhorge. There you go. Boris, you're doing quite well. At one point, you might be able to get into the full foray. We haven't got to axes just yet. Is there an axe one? Cutting damage. You do cutting damage, don't you? You do. So what's that? Threshold to inflict injuries. So we can do that. And cutting damage also inflicts injuries on the undead. I mean, that's pretty important, I'd say. Um, oh, rotation would be quite good, though, just in case he's stuck. You know what? I'm actually going to take rotation. I'm actually going to take rotation. Calf them. There you go. Ugh. That's a bad roll for melee defense, so I guess I'll just go maximum fatigue and health, since you're probably going to be in the front lines a little bit at some point. Uh, let's see if there is a hammer base one specifically. Sword, mace. Smackdown, technically, but I don't really use Smackdown. Fruits of Labor could just be useful for what? Hit points, maximum fatigue, and initiative. Eh. You know what? Let's just bump up your... Let's just make you a Colossus, buddy. There we go. 91 health. That's pretty good. Right, let's get everyone sorted in terms of... You know what? You can have the hat. You got to kill at the end of the day. Good job. Okay. Next contract. Time to defend Newick. Someone is coming to come and destroy our hometown, which we cannot let happen. No, no. Plus, there is a supply caravan here. So, wealth 90%. I am just going to camp quickly because we do have some injuries. So, let me just get some healing in. Hopefully before the people come and raid us, effectively. Ooh, hang on. Ah! So if I do that... Oh, I need, like, uncut gems, right? In that case, there's no point in putting you in there right now. I'll put you in a healing area. But good to know, so I need to keep an eye out for uncut gems. Is that an Adam, Adam Sandler film? Anyway, let me get camping. Maybe these guys might be around at the right time when these raiding parties appear. No? Did that go up? It didn't, it didn't It didn't. look like it stopped in Newick, so it's still at 90%. Fine. Also, I'm apparently out of tools. As always, Folk of the Road, Moran the Wild, and Colonel Yurton share stories of their travels with one another. You don't really understand what's so rich about walking about, but the two do bond over their tales, and that's good enough for you. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. And you know, you didn't die, so that's nice. Any... raiding parties coming in? Any time now? Maybe? Whatever you want. I guess I could buy some more tools, but... No? Okay. That took like four days. And it's also the undead, so... Great. Also, there's a group of brigands here. It's all just a bit of a mess. It's all just a bit of a mess. Hang on. I need to get food quickly before everyone starts complaining about being hungry. To be fair, we have currently no food, so there is that. I've just blown money on how to just stand here for like... Is this still at 90? Okay, at least that's still at 90. Where are these undead fools? Come on. Where are they? Let me just go and deal with them. Not the brigands, go away. I've got bigger fish to fry. Oh, wow. A few fallen heroes. I do have some bigger fish to fry. Is there a group that can help me out somewhere? Huh. So, undead to the right of me. Raiders to the... I was going to say the left. Let's, uh... Let's maybe pull back a bit. Let's see if I can get the raiders to fight the undead a bit. Just a bit, though. Not to the point that they all start dying and, uh... Then they join the undead side. If I can pull back ever so slightly so they refocus. Because they're a bit too close to my line for my liking. Are they raiders? Oh my god. So we've got raiders and fallen heroes. It's day 30, man. Or day 32, I think. Unnecessary. Well, it's definitely a very specific three-way, seeing as they are getting attacked on the other side. But hopefully they don't all get dying and go into the necromancer's embrace. That would be the worst case scenario. That would be the darkest timeline. Start shooting the necromancers. You're probably in a pretty good range to shoot the necromancers, actually. If you know what's good for you, do that. You're gonna jump in. Ah, oh, to be fair, you attack the person with the highest defense, so... 
That's not that bad, I guess. No, there's so much popping off over there. I'll just leave him to it for now. I don't think I'm getting any closer to there. The necromancers. Are you guys going to come down here and attack me? Or... How are we playing this? I mean, to be fair, if we get to kill some raiders as well, like... That armor is like an instant improvement. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Go up there. Right, you're coming... Sort of my way. Are you going to go my way? Right. Good job, decapitated. He's not coming back, at least. I feel like... I'm going to assume the necromancers are standing where I think they're standing, right? Like, maybe. Hey, bring raider. Stay away from us. That was a warning shot. Go fight the undead instead, please. Thank you. Shoot the undead, actually. Shoot the necromancers. Specifically shoot the necromancers. You'll be doing yourself a favor if you do it. Eh, yeah, they're not listening. Okay, cool. It's stop. Ooh, that's a fallen hero. That's dangerous. Danger Will Robinson. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? But whatever you're shooting at, you're not you're not hitting anything, so that's good. Man, Newark is getting put through the ringer. They're just like a small salmon, they're just trying to live their lives instead of having to watch this three-way outside. Well, no better three ways than ones at home, right? I guess. Okay, I heard all the geists screaming like crazy. So I assume they're up here somewhere. Okay, so it looks like it's only this guy who's come to pick a fight with us. I'll be fine to take him out of this world if I can. I just want his stuff more than anything. Okay, alright, he's on the way. He's very much on the way. Bonk! Alright, Captain, nice one. The only problem is now he's probably going to come back as the undead, so... Should have probably planned for that, but here we are. We've got to deal with it now. How close am I going to have to get to get... Oh God, miles. Do you have to shoot the necromancers? Miles. These guys evidently are not very good at shooting either. I mean, they are poachers, I guess. I was expecting one to shoot me then, I was like, great. Stop bringing them back, please. Get there with the cleaver, just in case he gets back up. You know what they're like. Same that, though, we are getting a little bit scared, so you never know. Brigands might have done us a solid here. Also, the Fallen Heroes are Tier 3 weapons. This could be a seriously good... This could be a what you could call a payday. For all I know, they're all actually still kicking around here, or they're, like, here. I just can't see them. I'm pretty sure they were three necromancers as well, so one of them is currently... Like a wall somewhere, maybe? Am I getting closer? Am I getting warmer? Shoot the undead. Shoot the undead. I think he's trying. Well, maybe this is sort of like our time to try and like position ourselves to be able to snipe the necros. The closer we can get, the better. The quicker they go down, the easier this becomes. Okay, so there's two of them there. Maybe all three of them are here in like a line, like ducks in a row sort of thing. They are! Right, okay. So we need to reposition for that. Somehow. Somehow. You're in, right. I don't think this is going to be a great place to stand. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, that guy looks like he's having a great time. Oh yeah, they've all sort of like circled around that way. Fair enough. Man, we really opened up the map to see what's going on around here. Hey! You should be fighting them, not me. Don't focus on me just because I killed one of your guys. He came to me, remember? I didn't want to shoot him. So I need to get two spaces ahead, so like here? Well, kind of. You guys need to learn how to shoot. Feel kind of sorry for that brigand raider. Right, now I can see the shot for shot as it happens. Perfect. I do like to get a bird's eye view, after all. Okay, so, two of them are sort of wavering a bit, but not really. 
Obviously, the problem is that we got to shoot around the shields, which is going to be right pain in the ass. Let's hope for the best. <clears throat> yeah, I should have seen that coming. Right, that one's not getting back up, at least. Good job, Raider guy. I said see you later, guy. You... Oh, great. You've locked me down at the worst possible time. Okay, I can now... Sh oh, God, 19%. Yeah, that's a problem. Hmm. 20%. Well, it will hit him in the head. It will do just that. Come on, fight the undead. You can do it. We're literally watching you as you go. You might have to take out the geists. Maybe. Maybe. It's a big maybe. Get out of here. Oh, you actually come to... Alright. Oh, he just went down. Leave him... Just keep him dead. Stop abusing that one zombie. I can't even get to him anymore, so we'll just have to deal with it. Alright. Hide. As long as the fallen heroes don't move in just yet. Just yet. Oh, good for that guy. He got away. I guess. He... Ooh, he will as well. What a weird fight. What a weird fight. Remember, gotta remove the head or destroy the brain. That's how this works. Remove the head. Destroy the brain. Remove the head. Perfect. Good jump. Get out of here, scumbag. Okay, stay away from the corpses. Oh, come on. You've resed him like four times in this one turn. Just let him have some peace for peace's sake. Right. Stay down. And permanently this time, please. I don't know what's going to happen with this guy, so let's just see. Shoot, man. You've got a perfect line of necromancers. Not quite. Oh, you actually did aim him. You did actually aim him, to be fair. Somebody decapitate this guy, because I feel bad that he keeps going back, you know? It just feels mean at this point. Well, he didn't decapitate him, but... Right, he's not getting back up either, good stuff. Ooh, a morning star, that'd be useful. Let's see if they come a little bit closer to us. They just might. I have to focus on several different theatres of war here, okay. Hey, about a swing? Not quite. Aren't you guys tired? You're catching your breath. Okay. Wouldn't call that tired. Oh, don't push him over here. Oh, shit. What the hell was that move? Well, we're bowed. Okay, almost lost his head over it. We've just got to put all our damage into this guy, I guess? Maybe? Solid maybe, yeah. Is he throwing rocks at the guys to the hope that... That's kind of cute. It's not going to work, buddy. God, I knew that. They just can't hit them. Well, we've got, our same, we've got the same problem here. Yes, we do. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Where did you come from? Oh, God. Pull back slightly. Man, he ain't going down so easily. Okay, well, at least he's not coming back as a zombie, as the undead. I guess that's something. Oh, nice. Good job, brigand guy. Bastard. He's gonna kill us all. Okay. Not dead yet, but he is reposting. Like, why... Why fallen heroes? Why this early? Repost. 
Boston again, is it? That's nice. Oh, piss. Okay. He's going down, at least. Car attacking the X, he will just repost and kill us, probably. So let's just be careful. Nice try, jackass. Hold that thought. Come back, Wayne. I have sort of accidentally made him more powerful, but also it's the best chance we've got. Okay. Cool. Ammo out, please. Man, oh man. No, no, don't kill him. I want to kill that one. I want his stuff. Do that. I want all their stuff, really. Okay, well, we didn't even get to kill that one. Everyone's not looking too great. Just from that one fallen hero getting into our ranks, that kind of just caused so much dissent. Really didn't need that. Really didn't need that either. God damn! I didn't really do as much damage as I would have liked. Don't hit him in the head, you don't need to. What's this guy suddenly on? Hong Kong Fui over here, Jesus. Right, come back from that. You can't. Pull back. I feel like that one might come go back the other way, to be fair. I have a sneaking suspicion. Alamo, you're just tired. You're just tired, right. Come on, just kill the ghost. Just kill him. Why can't you see that guy? Behind a shrubbery, perhaps? Maybe. No, not my warden guy. Oh, well, shit. Hello. This is a mess. Like, straight up, this is a mess. Well, he's running, at least. There's this asshole. Well, Wayne's been struck down. He's punctured, at least. How... Freaking ridiculous that he managed to come all the way back and can control it from the other side of the map, basically. Literally the other side of the map. What a piss take. Okay, well, he's pushed back at least. Although that doesn't do any favors for Hilmer. Okay, Captain, go get him, please. Big Harry Beast reloads. Nope. Not this time, unfortunately. Not this time, unfortunately, either. I cannot hit anything. Alabama? Not quite yet. Oh, man. This is rough. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, no. Hang on. Okay. She's not dead. If we're not careful, she bloody will be. God, this whole fight's going to be in the, the whole episode of this, right? Christ. I'm lost with where we're at, honestly. Bloody hell. Okay. Pull back. Is 
See if you can get him slappy. That's not quite what I thought he was going to do, but okay. Linus. Okay, he's down at least. Um. Suddenly there's a bigger problem. <laughs> a much bigger problem. Where are we at? Good job, Rex. Take him out. God, I'm exhausted. Like, this fight might as well be the entire episode. Jesus. Alright, Boris, up you go. I need to get my eyes in the sky here. I don't know where or what everything uh, everyone is. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but you seem pretty knackered. That's okay. I kind of want his stuff. I would like his stuff. Eh, did some. Now run for a fight with the brigands. Jesus. Go up that way, please. If you can. Everyone's too tired to go and fight now. We would all like to bow out, if that's alright. We've killed the invading force, as well as an additional invading force at the same time. This better be the only fight for this contract. No. Against my... better planning, run them down. I want their stuff. Ow! You dick. Come on, Warden, you should be like... You hurt my... I don't know. Celestial friend? Or something? Yes. Kill him. Destroy him. Okay, don't hit call, though. That was... One of them was very close. Come on. I think he might bleed out. To be fair, he might bleed out. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna put that, mention that crusty meme again of what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Give him a good old smack to the noggin, that's fine. Oh, he's back. He's gone. That means I should get his stuff, hopefully. Oh, nice. There goes another raider. Well, on the plus side, Wayne's not dead. I think he was struck down. So he'll be alright. Although, definitely needs to look into getting a helmet. I think there's an event to do with that, but I need to uh, make, but like, say, not this episode, next episode. Um, man, can you get there so we don't run away? Perfect. Right, he's going to bleed out anyway. Fine. Bloody hell. Running? Perfect. You should have run. But you don't deserve to run. You scumbag. Coming to our hometown trying to destroy it. I don't think so, buddy boy. I don't think so. Okay, he's gone. Fine. Are we good? One, two, three. I think we're... I think I can say, finally, we're good. Jesus. Or should I say Davkul? Mio, my, right. You, scatter to the winds. I never want to see you again. Bloody hell. Right, Lissandra and Duchess leveled up. Great. Hursty, Elias, and Hill leveled up. Basically, everyone leveled up. Wayne, what have you got? You're scarred. So you've got a 75% chance to survive if struck down and not killed by fatality. Uh, that is by far not the worst one. We got some crowns. We got one, two, three, four, five. Decent sets of armor. We've got some decent helmets as well. We finally got a two-handed axe. We've got an okay kite shield. And we've got some tier two stuff. I would say that was probably worth it for what we got out of it. Hopefully that's the only fight though. Oh, bloody hell, thank you. Wow! Not only were they super late to their own fight, but I had to fight fallen heroes and raiders? And we survived. The important thing is we survived. Oh man. We need to rest and recuperate after that one, let me tell you. Okay, let me finagle everyone's armor and stuff, and let me get recovering. We've still got some contract. What's this one doing now? Still 90. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. Merk Tahin, where's that? Where's that? 
I don't think that will benefit Newick, though, will it? Probably not. What's this? Oh, no. That's bad, right? Let me get recovered, then I'll see what I can do. Alright, it's been like two days of resting because, wow, that was like, I think, by far the most brutal fight we've done so far. And it only put us up to 906. Are you kidding me? God, this world hates the scrums. Okay. There's only one more contract at Newick, but it's the one that's delivering all the way down to Matarkin. Matarkin? Matarkin? Whatever. Uh, Grand Moth Matarkin. Uh, not quite. So I don't think this will benefit... Well, I don't know. It might, actually. I don't know how it works, per se, with the whole wealth thing. It's a 95%. Can I check other wealths of towns whilst I'm near away from them? I can. Okay. Let me try this, then. Just for, just for future reference. Let me accept this. By any chance, is there a boat to Matarkin? Nah. Is there one closer to it, mayhaps? Krakendorf. How far? How long does it take to get to Krakendorf? How expensive? 510. It's not worth it. I'll just walk there. I'll just walk there. And hopefully, we're going to go through, like, at least one town on the way there. Maybe we'll find, like, one or two people. But we don't have a lot of money. Mainly because we had to wait around for three days for that zombie force to appear. Explains why they took so long, though, because they were slow as all hell. Man, as if we already had to deal with fallen heroes and raiders at day 32. It really ramps up, but everyone's armor is looking a lot better. Like, look at this. Look at this. Day and night compared to last time. Or night and day, even. Okay, we're here. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference to... What? 77%? What the hell happens? I don't... I go, I go away for a day, and it's now a worse wealth than it was than when we started. Ugh. Okay, I tried. I really did try. How wild is that? Man, oh man. Linus enters your tent with hat in hand. The rim of it turns round and round in their fingers, as though plucking feathers from it. Even though he haven't said a word to Linus, his head nods furiously, with eyes darting around as if they were looking for the words to say. You pick up your quill pen, down, or you put your quill pen down, and ask what the issue is. Licking lips, Linus nods again, and begins to explain the predicament. The words come fast, but the general gist of it- What? No, I'm not giving you 400 crowns, we just got here. I'm sorry, Linus, but that's our entire payday. You further money Linus's poor countenance with some bad news. I'm not paying for any witch. If you fast for words from some strange woman in the woods, there's no basis for an exchange of business. What you've heard is a tramp's attempt to get at you, mercenary. You cannot listen to such tripe, especially a tramp's tripe, for a tramp's tripe is always in pursuit of one coin. None of these words help Linus, who quickly runs out of the tent, perhaps in pursuit of another mercenary, who will give him a loan. Look, I literally just got here. We've got no foods. We've got no tools. We've barely got any medicine. We've been gypped by our own town. Like, completely. To say that it was... Ugh, I'm so disappointed in this. I'm so disappointed in this. Oh, well, whatever. You can't see I didn't try. And there's all about three people here, none of them which I really match anyone in the list. I wasn't really, I didn't really think we were going to be hiring anyone today anyway, just from what I mentioned before. But it's kind of put us in a bit of a, defending our town has put us in a really shit predicament now, where we've basically got nothing, everyone's taking forever to recover, and unfortunately that popped off and now Linus is scared. Oh, man. Not a good start and more undead i really don't want to fight more undead but it's 1300 crowns which is not a bad thing it might be um embalmed which i don't know how i feel about doing um let me think about this also let me have a coughing fit okay well i didn't actually notice that the arena was at Mertarkin, which usually is it's good because usually it's like this one all the way over here in like air so it's nice that it's the closest city state for once that has it you know what i'm gonna do it I'm going to do it. It's two nomads. It might be quite difficult. Well, I say difficult, but it will get us our money back that we've just lost trying to defend our own town, which, has it changed? Or is it still 77? I'm not salty, but I'm pretty salty about it. <laughs> well, this is not where I was expecting the episode to go today, but here we are, Bullendron. I hope you can do some damage before they get here. 36 isn't great, though, so let's wait for them to get a little bit closer. Come on, walk on over. And hopefully some reposting can do some damage. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Make them waste their time. Here comes the sand. Oh no! Here comes the spear. Wow! <laughs> also, wow. Well, hang on. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. 
Oh! How rude of you, good sir. How rude of you. How dare you! How dare you hurt Bull Enderin, Lysandra's friend, who's not rat. And you. Stay out of this. You've overstayed your welcome. Ow. Ow. I know that this is your town and you lived here. But it's time to take out the trash. This guy's got some health. Not anymore. Okay, well, that was actually quite easy. Money, please. Okay, great. Well, they've started their pit fight lives already. We're back to 2000. All it took was one arena fight and we're back to normal. Okay, well, at least that's kind of fixed itself a little bit on the plus side. Uh, hammers, 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 hammers. Rattle's pretty good. I might just keep him alive, honestly. Sturdy Brow could be quite decent. Um, yeah, you know what? Keep him alive. Or more alive. Okay, maybe I can actually just buy stuff now, because we knew we do need just stuff in general. Although it's not exactly uh, cheap here. Bloody hell. 409. Fine. Whatever helps, I guess. 40. Uh, what about 620? Why do you hate us so much, bro? Do you hate us? Nobody likes the peasant militia. Nobody likes the scrums. Okay. Well, in that case, there's nobody here. There's not really anything here. I don't know if I really want to go and fight the undead. Um, I might go to Sandfells and see if I can hire anyone. Or Krakendorf. We'll see. Well, I found the undead. Uh, and it is nine men bombed, which I think might be a bit too much for us right now. But there is a big group in front of us, so I might hopefully pull them into that. If they stop going so fast... Mertarin. Muktarin, even. I keep going Mertarkin. It's actually like Muktarin. I could do with some help here. I feel like we're on a hill. Am I on a hill? I'm kind of on a hill. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm still in regular flat combat. Well, no point charging them because this is not an enemy that we can really take on by ourselves. Not really. So we'll leave it to uh, the conscripts. Good job. Good luck. Don't die. Wow, they're really just... I didn't mean it. They're really just jumping in there. Okay. At least these guys can't come back. At least he's not bloody Johnny Southern Necromancers. God, can you imagine? Embalm Necromancers. No thank you. Unsubscribe to the game. See you later. Uh, Lysandra? Hell yeah. You have been slaying with that axe since you got it. Good job. Oh no, we're jumping in there. Oh, nice. Yes, give the curse of the mummy to yourself, please. Not me. I do not want the curse of the mummy. I have had enough run-ins with Imhotep and his mates at this point. Thank you very much. Well, they're trying, but they're not doing a very good job. I thought these guys would be used to fighting these uh, undead sand servants, but they're, uh, well, they could be doing better. Yeah, they could be doing better. All right, I guess we're going to have to pick up the slack a bit. He says he misses the first one. All right. Keep... About it, I guess. I'll see what I can do about the first, the last hits, maybe. If you still got a split hand, what's your uh, 32 melee skill? You just stay back here, buddy. It's okay. Do not, you don't need to worry about it. Woof. Uh, don't, don't jump in just yet. At least I got it defending. I thought I was going to eat my own words then, but I didn't, fortunately, so at least I got it defending. So are they, apparently. Oh, boy. Yep. It's like that, is it? Oh, God. Come on, she only just got a f the weapon that she's always wanted. Don't do this to her now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Don't think about it. Come on. You can do it. Put your back into it. No, Lysandra, put your back into it. Come on. Linus, don't think that this is the, the witch's curse or anything. This is just a regular occurrence that happens. Don't think we're getting killed because of some witch curse. Okay? Okay. Good stuff. All right. Nice and slappy. Good job. Do you guys want to get involved in... Yeah? Whoa, don't hit your own guy. Oh. Stop sucking. Thank you. Listen to my feedback and act it appropriately. Ooh! There you go. Right then. 14's not great. Sorry. I mean, I didn't hit him, so I'm not, I'm not sorry. 
Man. Embalmed the undead, a big three-way fight, like... The day is just full of surprises. <laughs> oh dear. Right, his armor's gone at least. Nothing else is gone now. Got him. Just can't hack it, mate. Just can't hack it. Literally. In some cases. Bloody hell. This is very awkward. <laughs> Guys. Just because we've got the army with us doesn't mean that we're automatically safe. We actually need to start hitting now, please. Oh, mate, come on. There you go. There it is. Just had to wind up a bit. Don't worry, we're getting there. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Well, it's fully surrounded. Like, I can't surround it anymore. You've got... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was only at 50-50, so don't worry about it. Uh, this construct's probably going to die. Wait, Maybe not. Basically tickled him. There it is. No! Hit better. Do better. Nice. Okay, steal the deal, someone, please. One to go. Nobody die. Nobody die. Anyone? Come on now. Yay! Nobody died. That was a weird fight. Anyone level up? No, I suppose we didn't really get many things. We got some... We got, what, a copus? An ancient sword and some sort of interesting ancient shields, so there's that. I don't know how much they'll benefit us, but at least they're there. Let me get back to Muktahin very quickly, just because we're about to... Well, we're out of food again, because we always run out of food. What's going on here? I don't want to walk into a beast fight. I'm not really here for that right now. Oh, the arena's open again. God. This is the part where I just end up increasing the wealth of... Look, they're on 101%. You could learn something from this, Newick. Eh? Bloody hell. Okay, one more arena fight to kind of put us in an okay position for money, because apparently this is actually a pretty good way to get some. So it seems. And then we'll sort of walk our way back to Newick and go to a few settlements on the way up there in hopes that we maybe find one or two people that I can hire at least. Like, say, not my priority for today. It's just, you know... Putting out some content at least, you know. Go on, you drag us in. No. Okay. Not really hitting him either. I take that back. Alright, one of them's not too happy about being alive. Ow. It's actually quite a high chance. Might want to be careful of that. Well, there's one. Shield, repost, let's go. Yeah, well, kinda. It's the it's the fall that counts. Repost, she oh you're out. You're all out of shields. Okay. Just dodge. Oh you know, aim at something else. God, Lissandra is putting in a shift today, Jesus. Okay, fine. Oh, I thought was going to get him as well. Uh, squiggly lines are hard to hit. Right, you've got your energy back after skipping one turn. Seal the deal. Are you out of ammo already? Eh. Man, that's what I call an easy payday. Okay, well, all of a sudden, we're, we're now just blowing in somebody. Thanks to, thanks to the arena, of all places. Ah, placeholder for nuts and seeds and bug me, is it? Okay, well, let's get some food. Let's get a stack of tools and some ammo and I guess some of these. And then let's walk our way up. Actually, where's this going? He's going to go to Newark by any chance. Camp start. Pretty sure that's kind of close, isn't it? Oh, it's there. Okay, well, I'll take this to camp start and then I'll probably get my way back up to Newark and then I'll probably call it there. And of course, no contract is simple and we're now under attack by some nomads. But there's only nine of them, so... I have to assume that they're very foolhardy or suicidal. Because it's night time, 
and they've got a lot of ranged, so... I don't really know what we were expecting. Oh, they're getting shot. Hello. Oh, you're naked. Okay. Why are you naked? Eh. A question as old as time. Oh, why are you running in there, you idiot? What's moving around in the background? Ah, oh, Slinger. Fine. Chance of five? That's fine with me. You're just gonna run in there, aren't you? Foolish. Where'd you get the sand from? Thanks, Dale from King of the Hill. Oh, shit, hello. Aberan the Plunderer. That's why they're so foolhardy. They've got a champ. Not, not a faint, not a champion, but like a... A leader, like a nomad leader. Not a champion, though. No. That'd be crazy. A fame person straight away. Woo! What an episode this would be. Well, Mrs. Conscript, good luck. It's your own fault. Now you've got me involved instead. Well, if we can kill the rest of them, we might just be able to make him run away. Or flee so we can take his stuff, basically. Uh, there's another archer out there. It looks like he's got some pretty decent armor, weirdly enough. One is completely naked, one has actually got decent armor. There are only two extremes here, and that's it. That's all they live by. I guess I can respect that a bit. Well, 16% hit. Ow. Stuns all round. You get a stun. You get a stun. You just get cut in half, basically. Sorry, buddy. Gotta be careful around this guy. He is dangerous. Okay. A little bit softened up. Oh, dear. Right, okay, at least we're hitting him. Ah, well. Ah, well then. Right. You're out. You're both locked down. That's fine. Right, you two can handle this, right? I believe so. Let's get the rest of us moving upwards. I'm a little bit worried about what this guy's going to do. He's probably just going to absolutely eviscerate us, isn't he? Absolutely. Right, gone. Not quite. Also, not quite. Oh, mate. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. We'll hit eventually, right? We've got to hit eventually, right? Oh, boy. Survey says, not what you think. Right, he's gone. Cover, how you doing? You gonna stab a naked man? No? You wanna get- Oh my god, Corvo. Wow! You dead! Struck him down. Really? What did you get hit for? 50-50 chance, 40% chance, 40% chance. God, hit three times in a row with basically 40% chance. That's unfortunate. And they rolled exactly the right amount to hit. Damn. These guys are suddenly not messing. I don't think they were anyway, but still. This game is really reminding us today that we are fighting as that we are playing as the peasant militia, because this is uh it's been rough. It's been really rough. But also, you know, the fact that we managed to survive fallen heroes, raiders, and Nomad Leaders in episode 4 is, I would say, impressive in itself. So, good job, everyone, there. And I don't think anyone else has technically died, just struck down. So far. Let's not say that out loud just yet. Don't know what's going to happen in the rest of this fight. Oh! Right, one of us needs to kill that guy now. Come on! Oh, come on! Right, he's here at least. Okay. At least he's dead. At least he missed massively as well. Don't get hit in the head, you idiot. We haven't resolved the armor problem yet. Yeah! Nice one, Bolendrin. Kill his mine. Ours. 
Hours. Hour kill. Right. Can we please seal the deal on the rest of these idiots now? It's a solid maybe. Come on now. There we go. Bloody hell. Weird and wacky fights today, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Goodbye. Okay, what'd you get? Oh, why is it with maimed foots in this team? <laughs> I'm gonna have to sort that out. We did get a 210 helmet, though. And we also got... That's okay. Got a two-handed scimitar. That's uh, our two-handed cleaver, isn't it? I'm pretty sure someone does want to go two-handed cleaver build, so we'll have to have a look at that. Right. We're not even getting paid for heads this time around. Let's just get this to camp start. Let's see if there's anyone to hire, and let's get back to Newark to see how it's doing. Well, we're back at Newark, and all I can say is these small villagers just have no survivability whatsoever. They're now down to 71% wealth. So unless... Okay, there's no buildings here. So actually, if it ever comes to a point where a building appears in this place, we know we've done the right thing. Not that we didn't do the right thing anyway. We did do the right thing. It's just that we literally left there at 95%, went to go deliver something, and then it went all the way down to like 72%, which is ridiculous, by the way. So we're just going to have to roll the punches a bit on that one. I'm going to try my best to upgrade it here and there, but I think it's we can sort of influence it to a point, but random things will happen in the world regardless, which will screw it anyway, so... We'll try. Anyway, you, some of us might have noticed that we're on 22. I have found two more people on the way back up to Newick. So let me introduce Eric Viscard. He's going to be a cultist who's actually dexterous and swift. So not bad in that regard. I will get him a better whip and maybe a cleaver. And then we've also got Hemo Wengera, who is a grave robber who's got an amazing hit points. Um, and not bad in terms of like resolving initiative for someone who is low born. Um, but we're going to find out very soon that he's just a bit of an idiot. And he's probably going to play off Mad Jack pretty well. You've got a Grave Digger and a Grave Robber on the same team. Let's see if any events come out of that. But, as I say, I'm probably going to leave it there um, for today. Apologies that it wasn't like a super eventful episode in terms of like events and character hiring. We have hired a few here and there. We have got a few like permanent injuries as well at the same time. But we've, like, we've increased it. Also, everyone went a bit hungry. That's why nobody's in a good mood. Um, but we've increased it at least to 22 on the plus side. And we've had some decent levels. And also, in terms of, like, armor, we've actually had a pretty good spat of getting some better stuff in that regard. Also, we've seen the arena for the first time, which I wasn't expecting. So that was a pleasant surprise. So general upgrades here and there. General upgrades. Uh, but it's not the level that I would have liked in episode 4. But at the end of the day, I can't help my own health. It is what it is. Anyway, let's get on with a roll call so I can go back to bed and recover faster so I can make more content for you guys. So, Thirsty. You are on one kill, at least you've, you're off the mark at the very least. Magjack, you're on 13 kills. Slappy, you're on 22 kills. Morin, you're on 8 kills. Linus, you're on 23 kills. Lysandra, you're on 33 kills. 33, goddamn. Duchess, you're on 21. Wayne, you're on 5, and I will give you a perk at some point. Billy, you're on 21. Boris, you're on 13. Rex, you're on 1, once again, also off the mark. Elias, you're on 8. Well, Lendrin, you're on 24. Big Harry Beast, you're on 8. Colonel Yurton, you're on 14. Hilma, you're on 12. Kaften, you're on 2. Corvo, you're on 5. Ratu's on 13. Lady Miasmic Mercalis is on 3, although I don't know if the Warden kills count as hers. Also, she now has Malevolent Spirits, which means that she can uh, bring spirits in, which will then affect enemies and like weaken them in general, so we'll see how that works next episode. And then Eric and Hemo, you've literally just got here. Hemo sounds very reminiscent of Helmepo, but I guess that's just recency bias at the end of the day. Anyway, as always, uh, hopefully there will be more episodes coming out soon. I'm going to see how I feel, but hopefully I can bring out another one on Saturday or Sunday. Probably most likely Sunday, to be honest, but I'll try my best. Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than there you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you next time. We're going to be going out with the Scrotums and Battle Brothers, as well as other series down the line. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Northern Discord. It's linked in the description below and on the channel itself. We're all lovely Northerners over there. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the Scrotums.